Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Bork, and there's going to be a quick video on previewing, but really projecting the series between the Abbotsford Canucks and Bakersfield Condors as I was busy and didn't get the video out before yesterday's game last night. We're going to get it out now, though, after Bakersfield has a 47-shot great chances in that game, 1-4 for four on the power play, and the Oilers affiliates able to take out the Canucks affiliate 2-1 to one on goals by Seth Griffith and James Hamblin, obviously Griffith, the AHL veteran, who was able to have a very good season, 80 freaking points, count him, 80 points, one of the league's best playmakers and goal scorers this year at 30 goals, 50 apples, uh, also started committing with when it was Woodcroft down there, and of course their new ace in the bucket as well at head coach down there as well, he's had a great season for them as well. And then when it comes to Cracknell's also had a good season. Cooper Moraldi, who's been around in the the AHL. Same with Brad Malone, who's been around. This team has a lot of veterans. And I always lean towards teams with the great veteran status guys uh, in the postseason. That's just how I, I, I tend to personally uh, look at it when it comes to that. And I think... I think when it comes to the Abbotsford Canucks, they of course got Noah Yulson. He's been in the AHL for a minute now. So has Madison Bowie. Um, so they have some guys that have the experience, but they're still young guys that are trying to grow their game. Obviously, uh, Breeze Balls has been in the AHL and is a good AHL defenseman with over 200 games. So they have him. So this was kind of a mix, but I would say... When it comes to the overall, I'm not surprised Bakersfield took the first game because between Griffith, the great AHL veteran, Morality, Malone, great AHL veteran, even shoulder has been down there, hasn't had a better defensive season than offensive. So they had a good season. So he's been down there for a minute. They have the young guys in Holloway. They have the young guys in Broberg. So they mix those guys in with the very good veterans. That's why I would lean Bakersfield. It's kind of like how I leaned Bridgeport in that Providence series. Uh, just uh, similarly because they they just have the veteran experience in the playoffs. I always like to lean towards the veteran experience until proven otherwise because these guys have already been there, done that. The other guys have to prove it more. Caldas is great on defense. Uh, Vincent uh, Desjardins is great on defense and really impressed this season. One of the best plus-minus guys in the AHL and is just a good puck cycler on top of being a very good defensive defense, and he might end up being a seventh round steal. Has been very good in over a hundred games in his AHL career. So I would lean towards the team to project this series that won the first game. I also like their goaltending a lot. I really do like Stuart Skinner. I think uh, he's a good goaltender and a guy that uh, didn't get enough of an opportunity. I also like Kanavailov, Ilya Kanavailov. Uh, I think he's going to continue to get better. He still has room to grow. Obviously, Fonte is coming in more for the future and not somebody you're going to use now unless if all hell breaks loose in the postseason. But Kanavailov and Skinner are definitely two of a good duo to roll with. Um, and I think Kanav Kanavailov is eventually going to be the starter of that team because I would hope Skinner eventually gets an opportunity to be the start, not the starter, but maybe the starter as well. I would hope that as well, but be the backup at the very least at first for the Edmonton Oilers. When it comes to the forward core, of, excuse me, average for Vasily Pekolzin, great player. Um, Afar, a pretty good player. Di Giuseppe's been around for a while. Justin Downs been around for a while. So they got some of the veterans as well. Nick Patton has been around for a minute. It's just, I think when it comes to Bakersfield, the veterans they have mixed with the over-the-top guys that have just really impressed that are young skill guys this year. And Dylan Holloway, they can just be a breakout guy in the postseason. Those young guys in the AHL that haven't fully showed you in the regular season, sometimes they can break out in the postseason and uh, really help you out. Berglund was great as a defensive defenseman. Uh, I think all these guys just mix into more of a perfect bag a little bit better with Bakersfield. And they kind of just have been clicking on all cylinders as a team that's able to really defend and able to really push the pace and balance that out a little bit more to me than the Abbotsford Canuck. 
and that's why I would lean towards uh, them, and I wouldn't even be surprised, honestly, because Bakersfield plays a great, complete game. They kind of kept that going. Woodcroft's assistant, I'm blanking on his name right now, but Woodcroft's assistant that got promoted kept his system going. That's a great two-way system. Not that the Canucks obviously are bad on the defensive side. I'm not saying that at all. They're not. But they aren't, I don't think, as tight as the Bakersfield Condors that deserve credit for being one of the more tight teams in the league uh, when it comes to overall two-way play. And I want to give them credit for that. So that's why I feel like, especially after taking the first game, they're definitely going to be able to capture the win in that one and beat the average for Canucks. These teams were kind of even as well. So this was a tough series to pick, similar to Rochester and Belleville. Both of the teams are even in points, kind of even teams when you look at it. But I think because of Bakersfield, a really good AHL experience combined with the great young studs that they have, I think that's going to get them over the top. Like Halloway uh, has really been impressive. Lavoie has been really impressive. And if one of those guys or both of them take off in the postseason, uh, the only guy that the Canucks have that really stands out in that facet uh, would be Vasily Pekolzin, who you would hope obviously has a really good postseason as well as a standout youngster. But, like, yeah, I, I, I would say just because of the overall encompassing skill mix with their youngsters, Sheldon Ron Paul and Sheldon Dreis, both Sheldons are absolutely ridiculous for average foot, but then it dips off a little bit. They don't have the depth offense of Bakersfield either. Uh, I would say they have a more top-heavy offense. Bakersfield has Seth Griffith, and then it dips off, but that's because Griffith's one of the best AHL guys. They do have a guy all the way down to their... Um, Yeah, to their 10th guy, they have tw people over 20 points. Abbotsford only has seven guys, but on top of that, th a bunch of guys that are top-heavy with Stevens, with Patan, with Drice, with Ron Paul, and then it kind of dips off of Di Giuseppe's a great player, but Bailey's more of a Nephron presence. Lockwood's a good overall work-hard, play-harder player, but he's not one of those sexy guys, so... I think for that reason, I'm definitely going to lean Bakersfield, and especially because they also won the first game. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe to keep the channel growing.